Hey guys, James Hearn here with Recording Artist Research Blog. I've seen a lot of people ask questions about this effect inside of this David Guetta and Sia song Titanium here, uh, where the synth turns up and down in relation to the kick drum. So what I've got here is a Pro Tools session with just a basic kick drum and a, uh, uh, a synth pad, and it sounds something like this. <laughs> To make this effect happen, what you need to do is have a compressor on your synth track that is triggered by the kick. Now compressors are called compressors because they turn the volume down, they compress the volume of whatever the track is that they're on. What we're going to do today is compress the synth track based on the kick. And to do that we're going to use what's called the side chain or key input. Pretty much any sort of compressor processor you have is going to have this function here. To make this happen, I'm going to insert a send on my kick track to send to my key input. I want to make sure that the send is turned up. People forget that step. Then what I'll do is go to my key input and make sure that that is set to the exact same bus that I'm sending out of my kick track. Last thing I'll need to do is make sure that my key input is turned on. People forget that as well. So now what we've got is the compressor compressing based on the volume of the kick drum. So now what I've got is the synthesizer being compressed every time the volume of the kick drum gets louder. I can change how much compression happens based on my threshold and my ratio. If I turn down the threshold too low, basically everything inside the synthesizer gets turned down. If I turn my threshold up too high, then nothing gets turned down, nothing gets compressed there. I can also manipulate my attack and release times to get it to attack or release quicker or slower more in the rhythm to get the effect that I want there. So, to sum all this up, all I need to do is insert a compressor on my synth, insert a send on my kick track, make sure my send is turned up, set the key input to the bus that I am sending out of my kick track, and make sure that my key input's turned on.